Welcome to module five, creating dark posts in Power Editor. Now in the last module, we showed you how to create them in Ads Manager. Now it's time to dive into placing dark post ads with Facebook Power Editor. In this section, it's a little bit more advanced, but look, don't worry, you can always come back and watch this module again. So stay focused and learn what you can. Now, in order to use Power Editor, you need to use Google Chrome as your browser. The good news is that Google Chrome is free. Simply visit www.google.com slash chrome. Download the browser, follow the instructions that they give you, and then open up Facebook in a new window. You should pause the video and do that right now if you haven't already so that you're gonna be able to follow along better with us. All right, assuming you've done that, it's time to have Chrome open and let me show you a tutorial of exactly how this works. Okay, so here I am on my newsfeed and now we wanna to get to Power Editor. So there's a few ways to get there. You could do it in Ads Manager, but again, <clears throat> I'm all about showing you shortcuts. I'm all about showing you how to do it different ways. So I'm gonna show you the direct link to be able to get to Power Editor all the time. So you can get there very, very easily. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to my bookmarks folder where I already have it. I'm gonna click Power Editor. Now I want you to write down this domain name and I want you to go to it and I want you to bookmark it. Okay, you ready? Go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash power editor. Facebook.com slash ads slash manage slash power editor. Right there. And when, when you get there, I want you to bookmark that. Just go to your bookmarks, bookmark this page, name it power editor. And if you're, if you're organized, like, like I like to say organized, put it in a little folder here. This allows you to be able to navigate around very quickly, get where you need to get uh, very, very quickly. So. I'm gonna show you a few things real quick. I'm not gonna do a huge power, uh, power editor you know, overview video. Mostly I'm gonna show you how to place a dark post with it, but real quick, uh, there's a couple of rules with power editor that you've gotta follow. And by the way, you need to have Google Chrome to be able to use this, right? So the very first thing is power editor is like a workshop. So you're working, you're, you're here in this workshop, nothing gets posted to your page until you, pick, until you hit this big green button. So no matter what you do right now, nothing is gonna happen until you hit this, this big green button here, okay? You get that? So um, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download. You download whatever information you've done on Facebook. Let's say you've set up five new pages. They won't show up here until you download. So the very first thing is you download. You determine which counts, uh, if you have multiples, you wanna download and you press continue. And then it'll start uh, downloading just whatever information um, from all your different accounts. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're new, this will go by pretty quickly because you won't have a lot of information. I run a few different counts. Um, and manage a lot of stuff. So usually this takes a little bit longer for me uh, than, than it'll probably take for you. It might take even a few minutes and hopefully it doesn't right now. Usually this goes by pretty dang quick. So um, what I'll do is I will go ahead and stop talking and just in case it takes a while and I'll just fast forward. Nope, it didn't. So we got lucky there. So I just downloaded everything. So that's it. Now you notice this button's not green, okay? Until a change is made. Once I make a change, then this button will turn green. So I downloaded a power editor. I've got everything here, okay? There's a few sections. One is manage pages, and really the other here is these are the individual accounts that you might you might have, or you might have one account there, right? So uh, for really, where you, where you wanna go is you wanna go to manage pages, okay? You wanna go find the page that you wanna create the dark post on. So in this case, I'll use my personal fan page because it's already up, Chris Record, okay? So uh, first things first, you'll notice some, some pages have these little, these little like knights on them. Right, these little these little are clouds, like the little night symbol. It's little clouds, right? Well, you'll notice these are actually uh, dark posts. See how see when I put my mouse over it. See how it says unpublished post. These are unpublished. You cannot see this on my fan page. It's posted here, but you cannot see this. So this is unpublished. Whereas this one here is published. Okay, this one here is actually published. This is on my on my fan page. If you went to my fan page right now, even though it's sponsored, I, I'm promoting it. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is published. This one's not, this is unpublished, okay? That right there is the big key. That's a light post, that's a dark post. Light post, dark post. So in Power Editor, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna basically create a post. It's pretty simple. You click create a post. Then you wanna determine what kind of post that you wanna create, okay? So do you wanna create a link? This is gonna be go to a website. You type in a URL, this, that. And do you wanna create a photo? In which case you just drag in an image and you give it some text. Do you want to create a video, upload the video, choose a thumbnail, give it a title and give it some text? Uh, do you want to uh, create a status update, just a normal status update, or a Facebook offer? 
Okay, so this is kind of the section. Power Editor allows you to do all this kind of stuff. And it's always changing, probably adding new stuff. And I do want to make a note that with Power Editor, it's pretty cool. You can do extra stuff. Like if you just upload your video straight up to your fan page, generally they don't let you they don't let you kind of select the thumbnail. They let you select one of 10 thumbnails. But if you upload it here, you can have a custom thumbnail. So there's just extra benefits with Power Editor, which is why people like it. So in this example, I'll just I'll just kind of go through real quick and uh, and kind of show. Actually, in fact, I'll make it even quicker. I've already got so many here. I'll just I'll just kind of show you what will happen. You're going to enter in your URL. Then you're going to enter in some post text. It's going to go um, you know right right on the top. Then choose a call to action if you want a button or not. And then link headline. That's going to go you know that's the headline. that's going to go right underneath the uh, the thumbnail. In fact, I think it even tells you here what each thing does. Uh, display link. That's going to be what people see. And what's cool is that you can actually have control. So people, you know, maybe your site is google.com, but you can have this be something like, you know, Google me. You don't, you know, it doesn't even have to be a URL if you don't want. Description uh, is gonna go on the bottom there. Picture, you can actually just upload an image pretty easily right there. Okay, and then you got two op options. Do you, want this page, do you want this post to be published on the page or do you want it to be used as an ad? If when you choose to use it as an ad, that makes it a dark post. So you create the ad here. This is how you create it. So then basically we'll go back to this ad here uh, let's click off, click back on. This is kind of what it'll look like here. So as you can see, this is an ad that's that's running here. And uh, you'll see, this is uh, basically, I put in the information here, put in a thumbnail, put in the headline there, put in the description, put in what URL is gonna be visible, and have some, you know, this is kind of the, the comments that's kind of going. Okay, so that's what happens. You go in there and you do that. Now, once you have this post, okay, once you actually have a dark post, and let's see what the most recent one is here, probably something similar. Um, the most recent one, check out my free video that shows you how to use Facebook ads to find hot buyers to sell. This is for real estate. Are you using Facebook ads to find more real estate buyers to sell? Your next buyers on Facebook. Okay, and, uh, and then here's kind of the same one. So I got one with a girl that's gonna target women, got one with a guy that's gonna target guys. So you, you create the post, and after you create the post, you can come down here, and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to upload till you're done. You come down here and you can come into an account, and I'll say I wanna go into this account, for example. You can come into an account, and uh, and it's pretty simple. It's not too difficult. It's a little bit a little bit advanced for some of you, depending on, on what's in here. Notice it's processing, because we have just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and you know whatever, uh, 900 ads or whatever. So uh, it, it's different It's it's different for everybody. Your, yours, yours might be a little slower or whatever. First thing you do is you go to campaigns. You generally you create a campaign. I'm just gonna enter this. Let's say, you know, example campaign. And then buying type auction or fixed price. This is letting uh, letting Facebook determine. This is you know you're manually doing it, but I usually just always leave it at auction. Choose objective. Um, you know here's just a bunch of different options that you have. I always usually just go click to clicks to website. Um, that's but you know you could change it. Page uh, page post engagements. So clicks to website, and then I'm simply going to create. So what what I've just done is I've just created an example campaign. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here to ads, and uh, let these load really quick. And then I'm going to go to create an ad, and basically I can use an existing, um, you know, I can use an existing one here, example campaign that I just did, or you can create a new one right there. So example campaign, uh, you know, you can use an existing ad set, or I can create a new one, and I can just create a new one right now, example, and then name the ad, you know, uh, whatever it is, example ad. You might name it more descriptive of, of actually like the target, what you're targeting, what you're doing, so you can find it. And then you just create that ad, and it's going to process that. And again, yours are probably going to go a little bit faster than mine. Okay, so now I've got a, I've got a campaign and an ad all set up, and down here, here's my uh, you know here's I can I can make that give myself a little bit more room here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to choose a fan page. Um, let's see, that was just actually an example uh, that we did on another module showing somebody something on how easy it is to set up a fan page on trending uh, news and stuff whatnot. All right, so I went to Chris Record as my fan page. Okay, so when you go to your fan page, I've got example ad. Clicks to website is my thing. The first thing I want to do is choose a fan page. I went to the list, chose Chris Record. You'll notice it brings up all your posts. So I can go through here and I can choose one of my posts that I created. So I could choose that post. I could choose that post. I could choose any one of these posts, right? So in this example, let's just choose whatever. Choose this one. Have you ever used dark post ads? Okay. And I can add optional tracking. We're not going to get into that right now. We're not going to get into conversion tracking. That's all a bit complicated. But I can come down here and I can choose where it's going to be featured. You know, I might choose desktop only. Okay. So again, I got 118 million people. I probably want to narrow it down a little bit. So real quick, review of the creative. The ad name, no one's going to see this, just, just me. This, they're only going to see this over here. 
This is for my reference. Example ad, it's gonna be clicks to website, posted from Chris Record. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the post it's gonna be. Um, desktop only. Okay, now I go to audience. Now when I go to audience, uh, I could do a custom audience here if I want, um, or I could also choose a location. I could choose an age range, let's go 18, uh, you know, whatever, to up. I could choose men, women, whatever. So you saw I had one ad that was going to guys, I would have done men, one ad was going to women, would have done women. I could choose language. It's the same as ads manager, but a little bit different, right? So in this example, let's do that internet marketing. And there's that internet marketing conference, that same kind of same kind of deal that we were doing before. 30, so here's what I'm doing, United States, 18 and older, internet marketing conference, and it's gonna show only to people on the desktop. Okay, so there you go. And I can come down here and I can do more stuff if I want, but I don't need to. That's good enough for me right there. 18 and over, people that are connected. Then I go to optimization and pricing. I'm just gonna use the optimized default bids, just like that. So that's really it. Uh, that's that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm showing this ad, what, what you see right here. I'd be showing this ad, you know, on the, uh, you know, on in the newsfeed based to people that like internet marketing conference that are 18 and older, that live in the United States, that have a desktop computer. This won't be shown on mobile. So that's how simple it is. It's not too difficult. Uh, I created the dark post. I created an ad and a campaign. And um, and then you simply upload the changes. And then when you upload the changes right here, what it will do is it will, uh, it will make this ad live. Now again, I don't really care to make this ad live. So in this example, I'm not gonna do it, but you just upload changes. It'll say uploading. And by the way, quick tip, if you get any errors when you're uploading, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and hit upload again. Usually uploading a second time will fix that. So you do, you create as many ads as you want and then you upload it, okay? And another tip, if you ever wanted to like do this ad, you wanted to duplicate it, uh, duplicate, like let's say you did this one, you're targeting men, duplicate it, and then you could target women, change change the next one to women. And that's how you could duplicate stuff. So there's, we'll go over that a little bit later, but I wanted to show you, it's it's kind of a creative way to be able to create dark post ads in Power Editor. And it's slightly different than Ads Manager. It's just two different ways to accomplish the same result. So hopefully you're enjoying the, the detail, the detail that, that is here and really showing you how to be able to set this up. So I look forward to uh, going into more detail on some of these further modules. So as you can see, obviously Power Editor has some advantages and some benefits as well. So hopefully this tutorial kind of just helps show you how to go about creating a dark post in Power Editor. It's just a different way to accomplish the same result. And uh, for those of you that were wondering the difference, hopefully this module has helped summarize it. Now, stay tuned for next module, which is gonna be module number six, where I'm gonna talk about some design tips to help make some of these dark posts have some amazing graphics. And guess what? As a little sneak peek on that, you don't even have to be a graphic designer. You don't even have to own Photoshop. So don't worry. You can do it all even in something as simple as PowerPoint, just like how these slides that you're watching right now, the slide you're staring at, this was done in PowerPoint. And uh, that's part of what I'm gonna show you in the very next module, module number six.